Welcome to the USS Silverside Submarine Museum, a museum dedicated to the efforts and accomplishments of the veterans who fought in World War II. The museum behind me is a 15,000 square foot facility. We are located at 1346 Bluff Street in Muskegon, Michigan, very close to Pier Marquette Park and of course right on the channel that connects Muskegon Lake to Lake Michigan. Currently, there is a course on World War II history being offered at the museum every Monday night from 6 till 9 p.m. Two instructors from Muskegon Community College have developed this course, and in cooperation with the college, the class is being offered here at the museum. Throughout the 15 weeks, each evening will have a different instructor, a different speaker, a different presenter with a specific expertise. The class is attended by students who have enrolled for credit and the museum has made the offer to the community members to attend this lecture series if they so wish and do so free and of course donations are graciously and generously accepted. The topics throughout the course, if I may read from the notes that I have about the course, began on January 7th with a, the topic of from Versailles to Munich talking about the transition from World War I to World War II. Subsequent weeks cover the topics of the German Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg crushing Poland, England stands alone, Hitler's dilemma, Operation Barbarossa about Russia, Pearl Harbor awakening the sleeping giant, the Pacific Theater defeating the Desert Fox, and Muskegon, the arsenal of democracy. We invite you to come to the Silversides Museum on Monday evening, beginning Monday, January 14th, 6 p.m., to enjoy a very interesting evening about World War II history. I would like to bring a, a brief statement I prepared that in many ways I think will put a little bit of a cap on what we spoke about last week, talking about Pearl Harbor. For 2,400 servicemen, the attack on Pearl Harbor meant the end of their life. For our country, it meant the end of isolationism. The attack on Pearl Harbor resonates with us today, along with but only a handful of traumatic events in our country's history. This event was a turning point in our national destiny. Pearl Harbor exposed our vulnerabilities and spurred the capacity and convictions for Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and back to Iraq. Since December 7th, 1941, America has always stood prepared. As common in history, both the victor and the vanquished remain. Last week, Mr. George Hartman emphatically asserted that war does not solve problems, it only makes enemies. I strongly agree with him. However, the destruction of Pearl Harbor also created something else. Today, Japan and the United States are more than routine allies. We are mutual admirers and plagiarists of each other's culture and technology. Most of the old hatred is gone, replaced with the compassion and respect. In 2013, these World War II belligerents are among the most successful nations 
leading the 21st century toward peace and prosperity. For Japan and the United States, for veterans of that infamous day, and for children who learn of it only through textbooks, and for students and community members here at this lecture service, there are still many good reasons to remember Pearl Harbor. And I think this more than anything sums up so much of what we're trying to accomplish with this lecture service, is to have a remembrance. And I use the word lecture service on purpose because we really feel that we are doing a service for our students. Our first and foremost concern is our students. As George and I like to say, we're teaching the way we never got to learn. And for the community, we've, so, we've just so much appreciated your turnout, your support each and every week. We do look at this as a lecture service. So I just wanted to share with you a few words about Pearl Harbor. And I want to kind of take a small little detour into some other things we've got going tonight. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you came up to me earlier today. Yes, sir, if you'd come on up and share some of the artifacts that you brought with you.